Happy 4th of July, everyone. Well, I'm trying to make do the best I can given my situation. And the battle continues and trying to make some friends. But I figure I cannot take for granted my ability to be able to come out here and be able to do these things. And I'm just gonna kind of give a little quick blog talking about how I feel that many people who are fortunate enough to have, you know, significant other, you know, family or a group of friends are easily taken, taken for granted. I mean, unless you've really been in the situation where you're battling chronic loneliness, struggling to make friends, wondering where you're going wrong, I can understand how to those who haven't experienced such thing, it can be very diffi difficult to comprehend. And the other thing is I know the haters, you know, are going to start coming and they're going you know, to tell me that my in voice, my annotation, body language, you know, is suggestive of this or that. But like anything else, if you don't practice, and I am practicing, it's just I still got a lot of improvement to go. I've done a couple of cycling group rides and I've done, of course, a few uh, obstacle course races within the last month. But like anything, you're not gonna be skillful of anything without practice. It's like you take someone who's never played tennis. Of course they're gonna look like shit <laughs> if they haven't played before, if they haven't practiced. Same thing with socializing. If you haven't done it very often, then you're gonna sound like shit, you're probably gonna act like shit, and you're probably gonna embarrass yourself. And that's just how it is. And with that being said, it's really important for people out there who do have friends and family to not take them for granted. Especially like in times of like when you're having like a, a major surgery or you're battling cancer or some other disease and you're fortunate enough to have your, your husband or your wife, you know, help take care of you. And I can tell you, I know, even though I haven't been there and I helped to avoid that situation, I'm pretty certain it's probably one of the biggest challenges, if not the biggest challenge to overcome a major injury or illness without any support. I feel that is probably the most challenging thing out there. So with that being said, I'm just trying to enjoy this day. And this is kind of a, another reason why it's gonna to be tough for me to wanna to leave Bellingham. And I'm gonna try my best not to. I mean, yeah, you graduate college, get yourself a career going, start dating, you know, get married. That may be fine if you, if you as, I say, as I said, if you've got good social skills and you've had exposure to, you know, social environments, making friends, but I don't wanna bank on that. I'm sticking dear to my goals, even though they may be a really big long shot. And if something done, does come along career-wise, that still enables me to get the practice in, I'll take it. But I can't really think of many places in the world where you could work a job and then come up after work, not sit in traffic for an hour, hour and a half, getting all rageful, all bitter, only to be worse if you probably had no one to come home to. I don't want to put up with that. I want to be able to just do my work, get off, instead of feeling sorry for myself that I don't have anyone to come home to, come up here and get a training lap in. It may not be much for training, training wise, but it's better than not doing anything at all. So with that being said, I've also got to remember, I've still got my physical health, I've got the ability to come up here, and I can't take that for granted either. So, for those of you out there who are physically able to, I encourage you to get out there 
and do do any kind of outdoor activity or maybe consider a gym membership or something but as long as you got your physical health even though your mental health may not be at 100% may not even be at 30% make use of what you do have and just be careful going about it I'm not going at 100% effort when I do my skiing I'm probably going no more than maybe 70% I just don't want to risk putting myself in that situation where if I get hurt I'm not going to be able to do anything not going to have anyone to hang out with and then wondering what I'm, what I'm going to do during my time of healing so it's kind of a balancing act I got to push it enough to progress and perhaps find potential sponsors that will take me seriously but at the same time I can't go t I can't like just completely let the reins loose and just go balls to the wall every single time it is a balancing act so I'm just going to kind of show you I know you've seen it many times before but just kind of an example of what an afternoon lap or maybe just doing a, a, a bigger lap and then a couple of shorter laps all right yeah i definitely do not want to take my health for granted but at the same time i'm not going to go balls to the wall down something like this because i don't want to risk putting myself in that situation where i'm going to be like not able to get out and do anything so i'm just going to kind of like just just have a little bit of fun this is not something i would go balls to the wall on Not too many places you can just come up after work and be able to do a quick little lap. And that's actually kind of steep up top too, so you got a good some a little bit of technical skiing, and then you can pick up your speed as you come down. <sighs> 